There they are, ladies and gentlemen, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, December 1st at Staples Center here in Los Angeles, California, a battle of two undefeated greats, December 1st, Staples Center for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there's a growing excitement and rivalry between U.S. and U.K. fighters. This one is very, very special. Both huge, both undefeated fighters. They're willing to risk it all, risk it all December 1st, Staples Center, Showtime pay-per-view of BT Sport. Ladies and gentlemen, as a local Angelino, I'm very excited for sports and for this city and for this fight. LA is very hot right now. The Dodgers are in the playoffs. The Lakers have LeBron. Yep. The Rams are undefeated, and we have the heavyweight championship of the world right here in the city of Angels. Yeah. LA has hosted a number of greats in the heavyweight division throughout the years, from Joe Lewis to Muhammad Ali. Lennox Lewis and Vitaly Klitschko fought at Staples Center more than 15 years ago, and now Wilder versus Fury is indeed the most significant fight in U.S. soil since Mike Tyson fought Lennox Lewis in Memphis in 2002. The good news, today tickets are available. Started at noon, tickets are available through AXS.com. They're starting at only $75, so it's a great opportunity to be a part of history and to see this tremendous fight live. We are in good hands with this fight. We're sanctioned by the World Boxing Council in association with the California State Athletic Commission. At this time, I introduce a man who has done such a great job with the commission here in California. Please welcome the highly regarded executive officer for the California State Athletic Commission, Mr. Andy Foster. State of California, uh, welcomes the heavyweight world championship to Los Angeles on December the 1st. The commission is pleased to regulate and sanction really the true pinnacle of, of, of boxing. We strive as the commission to maintain fairness and neutrality and we wish TGB promotions a safe and successful event. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. And at this time, we move along. We'd like to hear uh, from our boxers momentarily. Thank you for your patience, gentlemen. But at this time, I introduce you Showtime's boxing pace setter, who is responsible for the tremendous growth, acclaim, and success of the number one destination for boxing. Please welcome the president of Showtime Sports, Stephen Espinosa. Thank you, Jimmy. Indeed, we have a very special event, um, but let's ask the question, what makes this special? Now, clearly, it's a big heavyweight title fight. There's a, a mystique, a different kind of buzz for heavyweight title fights. We've got a heavyweight title fight between two elite athletes. We've got the hardest puncher in boxing against one of the most skilled boxers in the sport, certainly the most skilled boxer in the heavyweight division. It's a fascinating matchup of styles. We have two huge personalities, two huge fighters, the two tallest fighters in the heavyweight division. And in a city of big events, we have the biggest of big events. As Jimmy noted, LA had certainly had its share of big fights. Uh, Henry Armstrong, Art Aragon, Bobby Chacon, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, they've all fought here. And LA has even hosted its share of big heavyweight fights. And Jim Jeffries, Jack Johnson fought here, Muhammad Ali, fought here as well. But in terms of major heavyweight title fights in Los Angeles, the list is very short. There have been three Vitaly Klitschko fights versus Chris Ariola, Corey Sanders, and Lennox Lewis. That's it. Four fighters have fought for the heavyweight world title in Los Angeles, in its history. And now we have two more. This is the rare event in Los Angeles not since 2009 have we seen a heavyweight title fight in LA. Clearly this is a special event. And again, in a city of can't miss special events, this is the pinnacle of the event. Two undefeated heavyweights, two big personalities, the WBC title, but there's more than a title at stake, more than pride. This is about legacy. This is about history. We'll see you December 1st.
Thank you, Stephen. At this time, it is my pleasure to hand over the microphone duties who will handle the question and answer session to an Emmy Award winner who was recently inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Please welcome Showtime's own Jim Gray. It's going to be a great evening and a great fight. Uh, look forward to it. We kind of started a few months ago when Tyson came into the ring. Uh, after Deontay won one of his fights, and, and now we're here today. Uh, so we'll start with the champion just because he currently has the belt. No disrespect intended. <laughs> Probably started first in London, so we'll start with Deontay. Uh, Deontay, do you feel as though uh, this is the best fighter and the toughest fighter that you will face, or have faced? I think I, hello? I'm oh, good. I think I'll face the, the, uh, the best, one of the best in the division. Um, I do think he's, um, let me rephrase it. I fought one of the best, and I think I'm fighting the next best, the next best that's in line, you know, out of the heavyweight division. And uh, I do think he's tough, you know. One thing about Tyson, he's mentally tough, you know. He's, like you say, he's the Gypsy King. And if you know about Gypsy, you know they're traveling people and they're, they're fearless people. And um, that's why he's the perfect opponent for this situation, for this occasion of bringing the heavyweight division back. So when I knock him out, I can say I, I'm not someone that was fearless. Everybody's laughing at that because I know it's a joke, right? <laughs> Tyson is. Have a good laugh. <laughs> say some on with some pigtails in his hair. <laughs> How is everybody going to beat me, please? Tyson, is there, is, is there a man on the planet that you have either fought or not fought who you have been fearful of? Like I said many, many times in the past, there isn't a man born for his mother that Tyson Fury is afraid of. And especially not a man who wears pigtails every day. Can Definitely you sit down first? Definitely, Definitely not. Definitely not. I don't sit. It's you like sit. Nervous. Like I said yesterday, you know to sit in the presence of greatness. I don't sit. I don't sit. 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 You sit and let the master of disaster talk. So where were we? Am I fearful of Deontay, the bronze bummer wilder? No, I'm not. Definitely not. I don't fear nothing about him. I don't fear anything he can do. And I especially don't fear those glasses, or that beard, or those sweets he's awesome, eating. Awesome. He already awesome. knows he's lost a fight, he's even eating sweets to prove it. <laughs> you gotta know. To both of you, we'll start with Deontay. I get the feeling, having watched this, that you like each other. Do you like him? I like him a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you like him? I don't like him, I love him. I love the guy. But I just, I just want to rip them plots out of his hair for some reason. I don't know, I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. I just want to grab him and pull him out. How are you going to flip the switch? You love him and you know, I guess there's a fine line between love and hate. It's a fight. Um, we can do all this stuff on stage. I can walk around here and I can talk as good as any man in the country. But when it comes to the actual fight, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Deontay Wilder, massive puncher, me, skillful boxer. Um, it's going to be an epic night, you know. Like he said before, this is a legacy fight. And I do believe that's true. And after a beating, I'm going to get him to hire me as his publicist. Because I do believe I'll promote Deontay Wilder back to the champion of the world in no time. <laughs> but it's no shame in losing to me, because I am the greatest boxer of my generation. And I can't be beat. Especially not by him, no disrespect to him, but him, another three men, or 50 others like him could never beat the Gypsy King. There's been many, many fighters before like Deontay Wilder, but there's never ever been a Tyson Fury before in the history of boxing. I know that because I've studied the game inside out. I know there's never been a Tyson Fury before, ever, or anyone even remotely close. What do you respect about him? You know, what I respect about Tyson Fury is, you know, he's, a, he, you know, he's, he's great for the, for the heavyweight division, you know, he, he charismatic. He can talk, as you can see, I got a great dancing partner. Like I said, you know, he feels this in the ring. He got a background of boxing in his blood, you know. He's named after Mike Tyson, you know. Uh, you know, it, all that is great, you know. Um, it's good that he's from another country. He's not of the same country. So you get to see different cultures, different personality from the two. You got one from America, you got one from Great Britain. So uh, that even more gonna make it more pleasurable for me to be able to, when I knock him out, you know. <laughs> 
all this adds up, you know. Uh, this is a sign for me, and I can't wait. So I'm telling him, welcome to a, to a L.A. It seemed like he did, already visited one of the dispensaries because he don't understand <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying when I'm going to knock him out. You probably never fought anybody taller than you. What type yeah. of a problem might that present? Yeah, I don't have one. I think um, uh, uh, me in my career, I fought a guy named, by the name of Kevin Price. Um, he was... <laughs> He was taller than I, arms longer than I, and uh, we already know what happened in that fight. Hey, y'all already know what I do. You know what I come to do, and you know what I'm gonna come to do come December the 1st. When y'all come to see fights, y'all come to see somebody get knocked out. You ain't come to see 12 round fights. I know you come to see a little skills, but you come to see this man body on the, on the canvas, and uh, that's what I'm gonna deliver for you come de December the 1st. Would you have given Deontay Wilder, the opportunity, had you not had the problems that you had and still had the belt, would you have taken him on as the other champion? He's given you an opportunity. Would you have presented it the oh, other way around? Me. I'm giving him an opportunity to fight the Gypsy King. If you were the champion, hang I on. Have, were... Hold on a minute, sir. I am the champion. You're talking to the lineal heavyweight champion going back to the days of John L. Sullivan. I had the man who beat the man, me. But he has a belt. The belt. But I have a belt on too long. <laughs> I have the, the claim to the throne. Nice. Goes back all the way, all them years. I like so the I'm giving him the opportunity to become something. Not that he ever will. I hear all this knockout talk. I hear it loud and clear, but I just don't believe it. There's nothing in his body structure or persona or aura. Boy, they know with 39 KOs. Me out. Every man stepped in the ring had to go, and you don't believe? I don't believe at all. All I see is a sop sat down right next to me. He's got, I, just, I, don't see, I just don't see anything about him that says he's going to knock me out. He's got little spaghetti. He don't believe he's you. He's ugly. He smells. How is he going to beat me? I don't know what he's going to beat me with. Hey, when, Frank, let's ask Frank more of a question. Someone tall in Calvin Price. Calvin Price was I got, a I got one question for you. Go on. When I lay your body on the canvas, which foot you want me to step over you with? The left or the right? I'd, like, I'd like you to pick me back up and kiss me back to life. Just like question. Which one? So I know. Just told you. So I can follow correctly. Pick me back up and give me the kiss of life. All right, I got That's you. all I want you to do. You know, sir. <laughs> Listen, he's a dreamer. Only in dreams does Deontay Wilder ever knock Tyson Fury out. Only in his dreams. Frank, give us a historical perspective. You have promoted we know he got a tremendous a amount. Comedian now that I knock him out. You've promoted a tremendous amount of fights, and, and you've seen, particularly on the other side of the pond over in Europe, uh, great fighters. Where where do you stack this one up? I think uh, Tyson is one of the best. He's certainly one of the most colourful heavyweights that's ever come out of Britain, I, I sincerely believe that. His skills are sublime, he, di he does the impossible according to what the critics feel. You know, he went over to Germany, he took Klitschko to school, a good Klitschko, not a guy who fought Joshua 18 months later. He fought the guy, and as he said, he's the lineal champion. Uh -huh. He loves a challenge, he's a traveler. That's why he's coming to Deontay's backyard, he's coming to the States, He's fighting one of the most explosive heavyweights in recent years, a guy who can punch, who's got a lot of self-belief. And I think styles, as they say, make fights. And everybody's got it in their head what they think this fight's going to be, that Tyson's going to be running and Deontay's going to be coming after him. I don't think that's going to happen. I think on the night you're going to see Tyson stand his ground and you're going to see some serious fireworks take place. This is a great fight. It's a fight for the fans. It's great to be here in LA to do this fight. It's great that we're in America to bring another Brit over here to take up this belt back. And I really do believe he will take back the belts that he's never, ever lost in the ring. He's the lineal champion. And this is it. This is what it's all about. This is the best fighting the best. The two guys, two top heavyweights in the world who have stepped up to the plate and made the fight like that. It took a week, two weeks for us to get it over the line and done because they both want it. They want to see who the number one is. We'll find out on the first of December. Shelly, uh, you've had a lot of great fighters as well, including uh, Mike Tyson, who Tyson is named after. Uh, give us from your perspective uh, what you see in this and, and how it might compare to some of the other stuff you've had. Going in, it's going to be a great fight. Lately, I've seen Tyson Fury singing this song, There's Only One Tyson Fury. I think he stole that from Ricky Hatton, and you know what happened to him. <laughs> so, he beat, beat Kossi Zoo. That's what he did, Ricky Hatton. Showtime's big fighter. He beat him. Deontay, uh, um, and I think that trend will continue. Thank you.
Deontay to do this on a stage in Los Angeles. <laughs> Where? This that also comes from the man who said that Vladimir Klitschko had beat me. And we all know what happened there, don't we, Shane? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Nobody. Yeah, you who who are, are you? Who are you? Who are you? Well, look okay. here. I'm in LA, I'm in your country, and I've got all the fans. Us. I've got all the fans. Who is this man? Who knows this man? Nobody. Nobody even knows. Listen, I went on a little mission yesterday. I was going down the street asking people, do you know Deontay Wilder? It was going, no. a man come over to somebody else's country and have all the fans? That's crazy. That's crazy. Deontay Wilder needs Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury don't need Deontay Wilder. I chose Deontay Wilder as an easy victim. As an easy victim. Unbelievable. This is going to be the easiest fight of my career. I said that Vladimir Klitschko would be the easiest fight in my career. And he was. And I'm going to say that this guy is going to be my easiest fight. And I predict he will. He goes on about, he's beat this person and beat that person. I've seen him knocked out before. Spark out by a little fat fella that big. Oh. Out in the amateurs, he boxed America versus Russia, and the little Russian fella cleaned him out. Bam! The bomb squad, the bomb squad was on his back. Like a dead fly, he was on his back. Legs and arms in the air, spark no, no, out. No, no, there ain't no videos around the world of Tyson Fury ever getting knocked out. So he might be able to punch, but I know he's got a glass chin. All big punches can't take one back. Thinking about me. So let's see, let's see if he can really do the talk if Tyson, he wants to fight in a proper end. Which is going to knock you out. It's alright fighting your head. It's alright fighting bombs you've been you sit down, But you when you fight a real man, you know to sit but down. One, you, you got bomb. blue on, you bomb. got red bomb. on, and you got another colour of brown. Struggling to talk. Red. This guy's supposed to be charismatic. I come here expecting a challenge. Your time is... 3-0. 3, -nil. Three -nil all day. Deontay. You big dosser. Look at him. Look at the state of this man. How does he expect to be a proper heavyweight champion of the world? Skinny little ankles. Tiny little biscuit <laughs> hands. An ugly face. A girl's hairstyle. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but... He might be able to move, but that ain't boxing, is it? And afterwards, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'm going to get him a job working in an L.A. strip club, no problem. <laughs> He's got the moves. He'll be grinding that so pole because planet, after this he'll never get another payday. Are you auditioning for a show or are you getting ready for a show? He's nervous. He's nervous. He's nervous. This is fear. This is what you. This is what fear looks like. Hey, if this is I what fear looks like. You was the fearless, man. Why you? Why you? Why you so? Why you so? Dumb? I look at you. I don't see you. What have I got to see you? Them glasses you, you got. Two months. You got I, two don't, months I don't. I don't need two months. I need. I'm ready to, to go now. You feel like the real thing I'm right ready now. now. I'm ready. Like the real thing right look, now. Look, 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 look. It feels like the real thing right now. Ready. I'm ready too. Well, let's go then. Let's pull the fight forward to this weekend. You bitch. This weekend, Dosser. This weekend. I tell you what, you're not such a man who looks so much. You're wasting too much energy. Keep that energy. Brush your teeth. Keep that energy. Brush your teeth. You don't need it. Who knows? You're going to need it. Why are you guys going to do this when there's only 40 people here when there'll be millions watching? Everything you say. 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 Make sure you turn up. Oh, oh. Any time of day, I fucking seven days a week. Oh. Twice on a Sunday. Oh. Come on, go. bring it on. Bring it on, you big shit house. He needs all these men, I don't need nobody. I come to America on my own. I stand with Brown against a new man born from his mother. Come on, you big dosser. Who are you? Who are you? Everything you say. He's nobody. Everything you say. Hold on. Trust me, everything you say is gonna build up. You are so nervous, bro. But you should be because you're dealing with the killer of the division. You're dealing with the best man on the planet. You're dealing with one that will knock you out in one spot. And I can't wait. When I look over your body, I'm gonna have no mercy for you. Once, usually when I hit my opponents on the ground, I'm gonna have no mercy Okay. Alright. Okay. Clear the stage. Folks. Tyson. Tyson. Alright. Everybody, the talking will end. The fight will be on December the 1st. Showtime pay-per-view. We encourage everybody. Uh -oh.
get their tickets at the Staples Center. It's going to be a great fight. The talking will end, and the fight will begin. Check it out on Showtime, Showtime pay-per-view. We're going to have a lot of programming leading up to it, so you'll get to hear a lot more of these guys.